So in order to get started with Power BI Embedded, the first thing that we need to do is register our app. So in doing so, we're actually registering an Azure AD application. So that means that we can either do this um, directly within the Azure portal itself. Um, but Power BI, if you head over to dev.powerbi.com slash apps, um, they've actually provided a form that gets us about 80% of the way there and it's actually a lot easier. So the first step is to log on with your Power BI Pro account. Uh, this account, remember, also needs to have access to your Azure AD tenant. The second step is to just to provide some details about your app. So provide our app a name. In terms of the types, server-side web app, native app, they are fairly self-explanatory, but the thing to note here is that when we're talking about Power BI embedded, um, it's always native app. And the reason for that is, is that there's just certain permissions that are only available via the native app that facilitate Power BI embedded scenarios. Now the redirect URL, I'll just use the one that's mentioned in the documentation, but this is where um, Azure AD is gonna redirect to, back to once we um, successfully authenticate and provide us that token. In step three, we're gonna um, configure that what type of access our API needs. So um, being a proof of concept, we'll just kind of uh, grant all the uh, read access. We don't really need to create any content. Um, we just wanna embed an existing report. And that's it. So if you click on register, um, it will return a client ID in the native app scenario. If you were a Power BI developer getting access to the APIs for some other reason and you happen to choose um, web app up here, the form will actually return two bits of information. One is the client ID um, as well as the client secret. So the thing to note about the client secret is you need to make note of that. Um, if you lose it, you'll have to go through the registration process again or sorry, create another key. Uh, but in this case, we've just got the client ID. Now this has got us 80% of the way there. There's a couple of permissions that we need to configure. So to do that, we'll head over to the Azure portal and to get to the app, it's via Azure Active Directory app registration. So I've already pinned it to the dashboard. So if I click, click on app registrations, you can see our app, our native app. And to get to the permissions, we'll click on settings, click on required permissions. So one permission that we need to set is within the Windows Azure Active Directory and click on this access the directory as the signed in user. So we'll just check that, hit save and click grant. And with the Power BI service, similarly click on that. Uh, for, for most of you, you should be able to just tick all for delegated permissions. I'm not actually an admin in this particular tenant, so there's two here that I'll just uncheck. Um, otherwise, my grant step won't work. Uh, but that should be more than enough permissions in order for us to do our demo. And again, we'll click on grant. So by clicking on that grant button, we're actually skipping that step where um, if we hadn't done that, Azure AD would actually kind of prompt us to interactively grant permissions. You know, you might see that in some um, kind of third-party apps. By clicking this button, we're, we're telling it now within the Azure portal, uh, we're explicitly granting those permissions to the app. So that's it. We've uh, registered our Azure AD application. In the next video, we're going to set up our environment.